Hello humans, welcome back to my channel. For this video, I will show you how I maintain the base of my succulent container nice and clean with the help of some tweezers. This succulent has also been leaning towards the unhealthy end because I recently saw that it's been wanting to be taken over by mealybugs or commonly known as pseudococcidae or pseudococcidae, whatever floats your boat. I swear, I've only dealt with these bugs once in the past, and trust me, they are a pain in the butt to get rid of, but most importantly, they are not impossible to deal with. The worst thing about them is that they're so tiny and they know how to hide really well in between the leaves of the rosettes. Now, I want to tell you a little bit about these bugs because it's not the first time that I've encountered them, like I said, and it's devastating to find these bugs on your succulents. So, first off, why are these bugs there to begin with? These bugs appear mostly in the warmer seasons, like the summer, because this is when our plants are working so hard and at times lack necessary nutrients to protect themselves from these pests. The pseudococcidae species is known to weaken the plant and it accompanies the formation of fungus mold. The worst thing is that the reproduction of the pest occurs so fast since the female lays about 300 to 500 eggs which could be seen as a bag of wax similar to the spider's nests. These eggs hatch in about a week and go through three different lymph states before they are grown adult. A second reason why these pests spread so quickly comes down to the flying ability of males, which allows them to fly and mate as much as they please, so if you happen to find one of these male suckers, make sure to kill them all. The whole reason why these bugs find succulents so appealing is because they love to suck the sap off these succulents, and it's how they keep themselves alive. There are a variety of ways to take care of this problem. For now, I am using a toothbrush to scrub them off the surface of the leaves, but it's probably more effective if you use isopropyl alcohol, which has worked for me in the past with my Ceros for Bessie Monstrose. You can use this on your succulents along with a toothbrush or a Q-tip to wipe them off from your plants. The second method to removing these bugs is with some oregano. If you want to use this method, make sure to mix 3 tablespoons of oregano per liter of water and spray the infested areas for 1 to 2 weeks. The third and most natural way to get rid of this bug is to purchase ladybugs. These ladybugs are natural predators and attack and eat the pseudococcidae species. I also noticed that my topsy-turvy had black ants on it, meaning that these ants could be a second natural predator that could help clean your succulent for you. That wraps it up folks, thank you so much for watching. If you learned something new, make sure to give me a thumbs up and write any information that could help all of us with this issue in the comments down below. As always, if you're new here, make sure to subscribe to my channel for more succulent content. Until next time, happy propagating!